Hello, I am Shaji. Welcome to Abacus tutorial, Saurabh and Abacus. In the previous video, we have discussed how to set values in the Abacus and what is Saurabh and Abacus. It's a basic mechanical calculating device which can be used for calculations, the arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So this is a tutorial module of, module of Abacus. Here we have six set of beams and we have beads on it. The lower area it is called earthen beads and the upper area is called heaven beads. The heaven beads are having values of 5 and its multiple 5, 50, 500, 5000, 50,000 like that and in the earthen uh, beads are having unit values 1, 10, 100 and so on. If I set 1 from the earthen bead it will be having the value 10. If there are 2 gone up then it will be 20, 3 then 30 and 4, 40. I can reset all the values. Now the abacus uh, is having value 0. If I want to set 5, then I have to pull a heaven bead down. So earthen beads are going up to set and heaven beads are coming down to set. So up means reset. Now again 0. Now the value is 5. 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 is the maximum number which can be represented only with the unit rod and I can uh, reset those values and if I pull one heaven bead from the second beam down then it will be 50 now it is 60 70 80 90 now it is 50 if I add 1 from the units, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So if I pull 1 earthen bead from the 10 units up, then it will be 79, 89, sorry 59 69 79 89 and 99 now the value is 55 now it is just 50 now it is 0 if I want to set 1 I will move 1 up now it is 1 this is 11 this value is 10, 1 and 0 that forms 10. Now it is 100. Now it is 1000. This is 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000, 7000. 8000 and 9000 now it is 5000 and this value is 0 this is 100 600 620 626 this way we can represent values into a soraban abacus Okay, let us see how to add single digit numbers using the abacus. So the basic addition 1 plus 1. So this is the area where I am going to give some uh, values, single digit values and I will get the addition formula here. That means some numbers can be added just by pulling up or down the bead. But in case of some numbers, we have to perform some operation formula so that we are going to get out of this program 
1 plus 1 is very simple we have 1 already and one more if you pull that is 2 we will get the value this is the simplest way simple as 1 so 1 plus 2 again it is 1 plus 2 that is 3 this is also easy already we have 1 this is 1 and pull 2 more we will get 3 3 is the answer again let me clear uh, 1 plus 1 plus 3 that is 1 plus 3 1 is already up and pull 3 more up 1 plus 3 is 4 okay that's correct now it is 1 plus 4 it makes a little difference because we already pulled 1 up and there is no more 4 to pull up so we have to find some other method so this is the formula if you want to do this calculation 1 plus 4 that means 1 already gone up and there is no more 4 to pull up so we have to do some other technique that technique is done here the formula is 1 minus 1 we have to subtract 1 first then add 5 so 4 plus 1 is 5 okay we are getting 5 here and similarly if you want to do 1 plus 5 1 plus 5 that equal to 1 plus 5 6 that is very simple so now initially we have to set 1 and plus 5 6 so very easy no problem and 1 plus 6 1 plus 6 equal to 7 now we will set 1 first then add 6 5 and 1 6 5 6 7 the answer is 7 that is correct 1 plus 7 1 plus 7 the simplest way now it is 0 uh, let me move 1 first so now the value is 1 then I want to set 7 7 means 5 plus 2 so it is 7 1 plus 7 that is equal to 8 so that also correct now 1 plus 8 1 already up then 8 more 8 means 5 plus 3 5 6 7 8 1 plus 7 equal to 8. sorry first of all let me move 1 then 7 7 is 5 plus 2 5 6 7 okay now the value is 5 6 7 8 8 is the answer if I want to add 1 plus 9, then it is different. 1 minus 1 plus 10. 1 plus 9 can be rewritten as 1 minus 1 plus 10. So, first of all, let me reset everything. I am going to set 1. That is the first value. 1 is set over here. Then the formula is 1 minus 1. So, I am going to subtract 1 from here. And I want to set 1, 10. So, 10. 1 plus 9 equal to 10 or it can be done by 1 minus 1 plus 10. Okay. Now, let us discuss how we are getting this formula. So, for some numbers, so where uh, there are beads uh, on the beam, we can simply move and we can perform the common way of arithmetic addition. But in case, if there are no beams left for addition for the second number, we have to do some other methods. That is this one. So here, how it is done? So first of all, when we add 1 plus 4, we saw 1 minus 1 plus 5. This minus 1 is, or this 1 is the complement of 5. 1 is the complement of 5 with respect to 5. So this is called little brother in terms of abacus or soraban calculation terminology and 1 plus 9 we got 10 here so 1 is 10's complement of 9 in terms of 10's complement so 10 complement 10's complement of a number is the difference from 10 with that number 
so if you add 1 with 9 you will get 10 that means 1 is the complement of 9 with respect to 10 similarly for the case of 4 1 is the complement of 4 with respect to 5 so if you are taking the complement with respect to 5 it is called little brother that means 1 is little brother of 4 and 1 is big brother of 9 big brother is the complement with respect to 10 and little brother is a complement with respect to 5 So, if you want to perform this addition 1 plus 9, first of all we have to find the, we have one value set there, but we don't have any more, so we don't have 9 more numbers. If you have 9 more beads to move, then no problem, but we don't have it. So, we know, we know that anyhow the answer, for the answer we have to do an operation from the tens unit. So, of course, in that case it will be of big brother business so big brother means we have to take the complement of 9 with respect to 10 subtract the complement from the original number and add 10 then we will get the answer so we subtract 1 and add 10 this is the answer another uh, example let us try okay if i want to add 3 plus 9 again 3 I already said 3 here and I want to add 9 but there is no more 9 more beads in the first the unit place so I have to do the brother business so this is big brother 3 is already there from 3 I am going to subtract 1 because 9's big brother is 1 so 1 should be taken off and 10 will be added so 10, 11, 12, this is the answer. Again if you want to add a little big number 9, oh, that is the biggest number in the single units, then again of course we know that it is not possible to do the addition in the direct methods. So once if you take a 9, we don't have 9 more in the single units, single speed, so we have to perform the addition with, with the help of big brother so from the 9 we are going to subtract 1 because 9's complement with respect to 10 or the big, big brother of 9 is 1 so 1 is taken off and add 10 with it so 10 15 16 17 18 18 is the answer so this way we can perform calculations that means the simple addition with the help of abacus using big brother and little brother or small brother big brother of a number is the complement with respect to 10 and little brother is the complement of a number with respect to 5 complement means the number and its complement if you add both you will get that number the base number suppose if the base is uh, suppose if you want to find the little brother then that number plus its little brother will give you 5 so you have to find its little brother by subtracting 5 from that number you will get its little brother for example 2's little brother is 3 because 2 plus 3 is 5 and 3's little brother is 2. So 2 plus 3 is again 5. And in the case of big brother, if you add its big brother and the number, you will get 10. So 9 and 1 are brothers, big brothers. 9 plus 1 is 10 and 10, uh, 1 plus 9 is 10. So they are brothers. 2 plus 8 is 10. 2 is 8's brother and 8 is 2's brother. 7 and 3 are big brothers of each other 7 plus 3 is 10 and 3 plus 10 is 7 and 3 and um, 7
okay here we can put any number uh, in the second position we are going to find its uh, brother so 7's brother is 3 so we have to subtract the brother big brother then add 10 this is the way of calculation and if you want to find the brother big brother of 6 it is 4 because 4 plus 6 equal to 10 and 5's brother is of course 5 itself and 4's big brother is 6 because 6 brother is 4 and 4's brother is 6. These numbers are mutually brothers uh, either big or small. So this way we can perform the basic addition using Sorab and Abacus. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or any clarification required, please feel free to contact me. My email id is it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com. Thank you for watching me. Bye.